<laughs> You're not ready. One, two, three. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin family. Yes, we are a family YouTube show. Um, for the newcomers, my name is Didi. Her name is Roman. We are the parents of the Bitcoin family. You might recognize us from three and a half years ago when we sold literally everything we owned, our house, our cars, our company, her 70 pairs of shoes, her dresses, <laughs> her beautiful clothes and makeup tools. I kept my husband. <laughs> she only kept her husband. And my kids. And the kids, <laughs> the rest we sold, we went all into Bitcoin and we started traveling the world. Now, three and a half years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain. Today again, talking to you about blockchain, Bitcoin and life. And today, together, as a beautiful pair that is still in love after... Uh, Too late. 20 <laughs> after 27... 26. 26 years. <laughs> it feels like 27. <laughs> Kiss. Mwah. Let's talk about Bitcoin, <laughs> blockchain and life. Today's video is taking a look at the Bitcoin price. What can we expect next? Showing you a few cool charts, of course. Also taking a look at Bitcoin compared to gold. We are going to take a look at US dollar Tether and we are going to talk about the Netherlands and also talking about the Winklevoss twins because they now expect Bitcoin to go to 500,000 US dollar or even 600,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. But of course, because Roman is joining me today, we are going to talk a lot about life as well. Enjoy watching today's video, guys. Let's first begin, guys, with talking about the Bitcoin price. The Bitcoin price, of course, we always talk about the Bitcoin price when I use, but I will use charts for this. So let's start with the first chart. You're not used for me to get a chart, a 30 minute chart. Yes, normally I zoom out into the Bitcoin prices, but today I will start with a 30 minute chart. Let's start with this chart. Bam. Can you do that? Bam. <laughs> like in a more sexy way. Bam. Bam. That's more than like. So we are going to start with the 30 minute chart. Let's see what we can see over here. Like you can see on this chart made by Lisa, we are trying to fight the resistance of 11,500 at the moment. We need to break this resistance of 11,500. Lisa is saying we could still see a drop from 11,500 now back to 11,300 or even 200. Do you find it difficult I talk about other women? No. No. Okay. Lisa. Then I will continue <laughs> talking about Lisa. <laughs> but so you can, we can expect Bitcoin to even drop to eleven thousand two hundred. But the goal and the target of this weekend, this beautiful weekend, wherever you are in this beautiful world, should be breaking eleven thousand five hundred. If we are able to break eleven thousand five hundred, guys, twelve k is the next target. And when twelve k is broken. 13.5k is the next target and when that one is broken we will go to the 16k i have been talking about in many videos the last couple of weeks and then the question of course should be is there enough buying pressure to get bitcoin all the way up to break 11.5k or 12k i think there is because if we take a look at this chart bam <laughs> bam bam <laughs> Uh, she, will, she will get used to it, but if we take a look at this chart, then you can see the huge amount of reserves on all the exchanges held in US dollar tether. If you look at Binance, there is 900 million US dollar tether in reserves. UOB exchange, there is 400 million in reserves. And, and OKEX even has 700 million in reserves. So there's a shitload of US dollar tether in, in exchanges reserves just ready to enter the markets, ready to enter Bitcoins and to push Bitcoin upwards, in my opinion. Or maybe they will buy any other DeFi project like uh, Polkadot. I mentioned to you guys a few times already, Polkadot is still a good buy. It already made a huge price jump, but I expect Polkadot to go to 15 or even 20 US dollar in the next couple of months. That is times three, four from the price where we are today. So I'm not a financial advisor, you can ask my wife. I'm just a dude with long hair uh, walking in nature in Spain, hoping that my wife will kiss me somewhere here in the bushes. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe is always positive. Maybe Bitcoin will go to 100K next year. It's all positive to me. Why in the bushes? <laughs> I don't like the bushes. 
Are the bushes too itchy for you? Snakes, spiders, <laughs> all kinds of. We can insects. do it here, so like in open air public, but. And move on. <laughs> sometimes mountain bikers come past by, so that's why I didn't want to do it. But can you imagine doing this with this view? The view of your beautiful wife and this backdrop scenery. Oh my god, that would be awesome. Oh my it's god. Amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. Don't you think? Yeah. I don't feel lucky today, so I don't think that will happen. But you never know. You never know. No one knows. Like the song I always play in my videos. Yes, we will talk some more about Bitcoin later, but I want to touch one subject because yesterday we were on the beach in Spain uh, and the beach was full with tourists, the bars are full with tourists, everybody is having fun on the beach, nobody is social distancing, nobody is keeping track on anything they should be keeping track on following the government. But the Netherlands just categorized Spain under the code orange. And what does the code orange mean? It sounds very positive, but it isn't positive. Code orange means that everybody from the Netherlands that is traveling to Spain or coming back from Spain needs to quarantine themselves for two weeks. Now, I might look a little bit stupid, but I don't think I am stupid. Why are you looking? I was waiting for her confirmation, but she's yeah, you she needs to get I into think. it. She's thinking something else. She's still thinking about bushes. But how can the Netherlands put Spain in code orange while everybody in Spain is just living life? They are all going to the beaches. There are areas in the Netherlands that have bigger problems than the whole Spain. Do you agree with these rules? Well, you know, it doesn't matter what I think because you need to live up on the rules. That's the difficult part for me because I hate it when somebody tells me what to do and especially when it's not... Um, and there is no uh, official reason. Yeah, like that. Explain to me why. And if it's a good explanation and I understand it, then I'm okay with it. But at this moment, I don't understand anything about it. Just find it really strange that when we come back to the Netherlands, we need to quarantine ourselves as if we are animals that they can keep in cages because they flew all over the world. How do they call it for animals? You know, if you take your cat to Australia, what do you do with your cat? The same, quarantine. Quarantine, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, we, all, we have evolved in, as humanity from monkeys to very intelligent people and now back to cats and dogs that need to be quarantined when they want to move from one country to another one. We don't agree with this, but we don't want to pay too much attention to this, all this negative shit, so we will continue this walk and talk about beautiful things in life, because else she will definitely lose interest by having some kissy-kissy somewhere <laughs> here in these bushes. No, and the only thing is, we just want to show you that don't believe everything you hear on the news or on the media. Exactly, that is exactly what we want to show you with these images now from these beautiful people. And if you look very closely, you can see some... Uh -uh. <laughs> from these beautiful people on the beaches here in Spain. Bam! Of course guys, we ended the beautiful beach day on this beautiful beach bar with a couple of sangrias. Yeah, she was just drinking water, there's no sangria in that bottle I hope, because then she's an alcoholic. But <laughs> we ended the beach day with a beautiful sangria on this beach bar. And do you know how I paid these sangrias? I paid them with my crypto.com debit card. Yes, with my bitcoins that are stored on this crypto.com debit card, I was able to pay at this small beach bar in Spain as well. These cards are working very beautiful as a step in between, as you know, that is my opinion, but they do help our family with paying for stuff or groceries. Because did you do groceries with the card already? Uh, yes. The blue one, the crypto.com? Yeah, yeah. Did it work? It worked. Bam. 
You see, she even bought my food with a Crypto.com credit card. If you want to have this Crypto.com credit card, please click the referral link down below this video because then I receive 50 US dollar, but you receive 50 US dollar as well. And you can do with this 50 US dollar what you want, but we are going to help poor people in the world with the $50 commission we earn. So click our referral link because it's our it's money. Hard to share. Yeah. <laughs> It always uh, reminds me to this uh, show from Eddie Murphy where he is talking about his uh, beautiful wife and I think the show is called Raw? I think Raw. Raw. And then his wife at the end says, I want half, Eddie. Half. Imagine, I want half? I want half. I want half, Eddie. I want half. I always imagine her saying to me, Didi, I want half of the bitcoins. I don't I know. I own half. You so. own half of it, but we <laughs> I don't be want it. I have it already. <laughs> the only positive part is she doesn't know where they are. <laughs> That's what he thinks. <laughs> oh, shit. There's a double plan. <laughs> While we're talking about beaches, guys, in Spain, there is one beach coastline that is called Costa Dorado, which means the coast of gold. And we were talking about gold. Wow, what a beautiful step in between, Didi. You're getting better and better at this YouTubing. You deserve to have 10K followers. We still don't have 10K followers. So start to like this video, subscribe to the video, and please share it with your friends and family because we want to reach 10K subscribers. That would be a really cool thing for our YouTube channel. But talking about the Costa Dorado, yes, from here to there, Didi. Um, yes, this is Gold Coast. Let's take this jump into gold and Bitcoin. Because many people say that Bitcoin is massively correlated to gold. So I'm going to share some charts with you guys so that you can make up your own opinion about this correlation. So let's first start with a day chart, this one. Together now. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> <laughs> that one, yeah. So <laughs> let's first start with the day chart. Uh, this chart, you can see indeed that if you look at a 24 hour span, that Bitcoin has been moving together with gold. These two lines, the two colored lines, they both move up and down in the same way. So yes, here we can see this correlation. But we have another chart. This one is a zoomed out chart where we can see in the last couple of months what Bitcoin and gold have been doing. Let's take a look at that chart. Bam! <laughs> yeah, she's there. She's getting there. Woohoo! Yeah. Let's, so this is the month chart. And even on this month chart, indeed, you can see that gold and Bitcoin are moving together. Yes, they are going up and going down together. So this is telling me that the same type of investors are investing in gold and in Bitcoin. So these are probably the people that see gold as a store of value that have been seeing gold as a store of value the last couple of decades but that also slowly start to see bitcoin as a store of value as well store of value in the meaning that if you exchange your fiat from your bank into gold you will lose less value because the fiat currencies are all losing value and the upcoming crisis will even make this worse did you see the view over there mm -hmm. We're going to share the view with the people or not? If we turn around a little bit, <laughs> they can see. And while we are talking about gold, and yes, I will continue this correlation story about Bitcoin and gold in a couple of seconds. But when we're talking about gold, I want to tell you, because my wife is now next to me, so she can confirm not everything that we do and that we show in YouTube and our Instagram is shiny as gold, guys. Our life is not a shiny golden life. We also have some ups and downs and difficulties as a family. We are a family and we have the same issues as any other family in the world but only we travel do you have anything to add to this my lovely precious bitcoin lady yeah we don't really have an example of everything that we do so we need to discover for ourselves which way to go or how to handle things because we yeah there aren't much examples who are doing the same as we do what do you think is the hardest part of raising our kids while we we'll travel um, well, to keep everybody well, happy and um, at the same time, because sometimes someone likes it and some and the other one doesn't like it, and then we need to go in between to make everybody happy. Yeah. So that's uh, sometimes hard to find. Yeah, the balance. The balance between. Yeah. The balance the between. The family members. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the oldest one might like Spain, the youngest one might hate Spain. The middleman might not have an opinion, 
So well, we have three girls, but three totally different girls. So, yeah. um, Julie really likes to travel. She's more like Didi. Juna is more like, well, I'm happy anything at home here. Just leave me here in this house and you go do your thing. More like me. And Jessa uh, is all over the place with lots of energy. And I'm like, damn girl, give me some of your energy. Yeah. So, very diff different personalities. Yeah, completely different. That makes the traveling life not always easy. And now all this situation that we have all over the world doesn't make it more easy as well. Because guys, you need to be, but also have very flexible kids that are able to adopt to any kind of situation. Because uh, like 10 days ago, so we promised them, well, oh, we are going to Austria and we're going to visit all these mountains and we're going to uh, these mountain lakes and do beautiful hikes and see this big city, Vienna. And then like two days before that you go there, the kids are all hyped up to go there. You need to tell them, ah, we are not going. Sorry, we need to stay in Spain some longer. So your kids need to be flexible as well. And this is not easy. Yeah, but I think for them it's easy now because we are doing this for three and a half years now. Yeah. So they don't make fuss about it anymore. Fuss about it yeah. anymore now. Let's get back to the gold story because we were talking about gold and Bitcoin being correlated. I showed you on the charts that Bitcoin and gold were correlated. And now these Winklevoss twins, I don't know if you know, do you know the Winklevoss twins? Yes, I know them. Okay, you know them. <laughs> Are they handsome or like ugly? I don't know. Yeah. Kinda? Kinda. <laughs> kinda. So kinda. She, she digs kinda the Winklevoss twins. Um, <laughs> probably because of their Bitcoin uh, huddles. Nah, my, novice, my wife is not materialistic. Sorry. What to do with you? But she wants <laughs> half. <laughs> But the Winklevoss twins, guys, they just stated, oh my God, Bitcoin can go to $500,000 per Bitcoin or even $600,000 per Bitcoin. And why did they say this? They didn't say this without a reason. And please, people understand that the Winklevoss twins, they have been in Bitcoin since the beginning. They are big time investors in huge projects. So guys, these are the OGs of the space. Yes, I've been in the space for a long time, but these twins, they have been in the space since the beginning, guys. They are saying, guys, Bitcoin is 10 times better than gold. Give me one moment, guys. I'm, I'm going to wear my cat. I'm, I'm getting crazy with my hair in my mouth and the heat on my head. Can you please hold the camera? I can huddle. Hold a long time. Can you huddle me? <laughs> I'm huddling you for <gasps> 26 years. <laughs> Very long time. Keep your happy long time. So what are you holding with your left hand? My tea. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's less hot and again, my hair not in my mouth all the time. So they are saying Bitcoin is 10 times better than gold and I totally agree with them guys. And they're also saying, yes, there is a scarcity in gold. Yes, there's a limited amount of gold available on earth because we all know that Elon Musk is going to do all these gold mining trips in the future to all these asteroids to start to mine gold. And no, these asteroids are not as far away as you think because some of these huge kick-ass asteroids are coming closer and closer so it becomes easier and easier to start to mine gold on these asteroids. And when we start to mine gold on these asteroids is there still then this limited amount of gold. Bitcoin, there is a limited amount of 21 million bitcoins and we know this is never going to be more so this is one of the reason that bitcoin could be a much better store of value than gold then of course there's the last user base many people all over the world also young people are using bitcoin they are not using gold yes they might wear a gold chain but they are not buying gold to huddle value so these young people, our kids, are growing up with Bitcoin in their mindset and that Bitcoin is a store of value. So the next generation will believe more in Bitcoin than they will believe in gold. And that's of course because of the accessibility. Because it's way more easy to access Bitcoin than gold. If I ask you now, go buy some Bitcoin or go buy some gold, which one is more easy? Gold, you need to put on your clothes, wash your face, go out, and buy some real physical gold somewhere. Bitcoin, you just sit there on your couch or lie in your bed, wherever you're watching this video, and you just press push one button and you buy Bitcoin. So the accessibility of Bitcoin is way more easy than gold. Does that add up? Why? Bitcoin and, and gold? gold stocks, isn't it the same? 
No, so because like if you buy gold stocks, you don't own physical gold. You know, yeah, and if, if you, you buy own. Bitcoin, you own Bitcoin. Bitcoin is yours. Nobody can take them from them. It's your Bitcoin. And if you buy like gold stocks, you cannot put gold stocks in some ledger or somewhere where you can keep them away from centralized organizations. Okay. Maybe I should have, yeah, maybe I should have like, yeah, be a little <laughs> bit more specific. <laughs> but um, yeah, so in my opinion, yes, Bitcoin is way more easy to access than gold. And then of course, we also have the portability because yes, to come to her question now, is gold not the same? No. Gold stock. A gold stock. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, that was a very good uh, remark. She is very smart. Shit, she's getting too smart now in this business. <laughs> so yes, I need to admit now, yes, yes, it is. <laughs> Shit, I all I totally forgot about Prime XBT because yes, if you go to Prime XBT and yes, use my referral links, you get a 50% deposit bonus. If you go to Prime XBT, it is as easy to buy gold as to buy Bitcoin. We don't buy gold stocks, we buy Bitcoin. <laughs> we buy Bitcoin, but that's why we're the Bitcoin family. That's why she helps me always in life. But the difference is that Bitcoin is much more portable than gold. So with Bitcoin, I could go to a store and pay. So I have a storage of value and I go to a store and I can spend it. With gold, I cannot spend gold in any store. That would be the same like having a, a gold bar, a physical gold bar, and traveling from the Netherlands with a physical gold bar all the way to over the world and then use this knife to cut off like a little gram of gold to pay your groceries. That will be never possible with gold. Or gold stocks. Or gold stocks. <laughs> <sighs> what? Do you also sometimes get, st get like really tired of your wife? We never argue. <laughs> So that is the main advantage of Bitcoin above gold. So you can use your Bitcoin all over the world while it is a store of value as well. And you can exit this in a very easy way. So these three points are the reasons for the Winklevoss twins to believe that Bitcoin is going to overtake gold in the near future, in this decade, in the next eight to 10 years. So when Bitcoin is going to take over gold, that will mean Bitcoin will realize a market cap of 9 trillion US dollar, same like gold at the moment has. And if the market cap of Bitcoin will become 9 trillion US dollar, the Bitcoin price will be 500,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Because then the market cap went times 45 and the Bitcoin price went times 45 as well. So my shortcut version well, of I... the difference between the bitcoin and the gold bitcoin has a whole package like buy hodl sell it's easy and gold doesn't <laughs> oh my god you're so smart i love you <laughs> oh, let's have some sex with this view and gone and then guys we get to the next part because i think the wink of us twins have the same mindset that i have because i shared this video yesterday or the day before with you guys where i talked about bitcoin becoming this new um, reserve currency of the world what if all these centralized banks will start to diversify their fiat holdings their fiat reserve currencies which is about 11.6 trillion all over the world like about 10% into Bitcoin. So what if all these banks, these central banks, now start to own Bitcoin as well? So 90% will be fiat or gold, and 10% will be in Bitcoin. If this will happen, we are not going to multiply the Bitcoin price with 45, but with 55, and then we will see a Bitcoin price of 600,000 US dollar in the future. I think the future for the Winklevoss twins means now, now in 10 years times. So I am zooming out on the charts always, but when it comes to Bitcoin, I zoom a little bit more in because I'm very happy to see what will happen to Bitcoin in 2021. Because I think we are in a bull run and this bull run will already take us to 100K Bitcoin price the next year. So let's see what is going to happen, but I'm very happy to have these people like the Winklevoss twins in this industry because they understand the true fundamentals of Bitcoin and that's what they promote and keep promoting all the time. So thumbs up for the Wink of Us Twins, thumbs up for my beautiful wife and her smartness ass, smartness ass, smart ass? Just smart ass. And her smart ass. <laughs> Definitely not brains. <laughs> Damn.
and thumbs up for myself because I just admitted that I was wrong and she was right. Just because you want to fuck. <laughs> Can we do this on YouTube? <laughs> no. Fuck? No! Talk about fuck. I think, we, I think you get blocked. I think we, could, we would get a lot of views. And cut. I'm done. We are going to walk back, so I want to thank you for watching this video again. If you like the video, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, please share with your, with your friends and your communities because we need more subscribers and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of every new video. I want to remind you guys to always zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thanks for watching, have an amazing day and hopefully see you Monday again because you know Sunday is my day off, Sunday is our cuddle day, our family day, the day I don't spend on camera. Thank you again and see you Monday. Bye! Bye. Oh man! I love you! Give me half! Joanna, give me half for Joanna! Guys, by the way, I want to ask you, do you like my new t-shirt? Bitcoin Revolution. I love this shirt, the Bitcoin Revolution. If you like the shirt as well, go to the website, thebitcoinfamily.com and visit our shop over there. You can buy the shirt in multiple colors and sizes. And guys, remember, when you buy the shirt, 25% of these profits will go to charity or poor people we will meet during our travels.